Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Trivia 10. Soups is in the building once again. Look at the look of determination on his face. He is amped up, fired up, ready to go. How are you feeling coming into this? You look locked in right now. I'm locked in. I had a great offseason. You know, the last time I was on Trivia 10, I was facing off against Josiah. Didn't go my way. Choked in that final round. But I've done a lot of reflecting in this offseason, and I'm back ready for vengeance. Love to hear it. Well, new episodes every Tuesday and Friday. We'll see if Soups can find himself in the playoffs once again and get some redemption against Josiah or whoever else he may face. But let's go ahead and get into this thing. First three questions are going to be multiple choice. First question, in Sonic the Hedgehog, which town does Sonic consider his home after living in secret on Earth? Is it Mushroom Hill, Emerald Town, Station Square, or Green Hills? Green Hills. Green Hills is correct. A true Sonic fan, not, not, not a fake Fake Sonic fan, hype for Sonic 3, I imagine. But uh, one for one off the bat, getting five points already. Going on to the second multiple choice question. In Venom, which organization is responsible for the experiments that lead to the creation of the Venom symbiote? Is it Oscorp, Alchemax, Life Foundation, or Roxxon Energy Corp? Life Foundation. <laughs> Soups is dialed and Soups is locked in. Perfect 10 points out of 10 points right now. The final multiple choice question now. In the Batman, the Riddler leaves clues to lead Batman to discover the truth about a secret fund relating to what project? Is it the Renewal Project, the Wayne Enterprises Expansion, the Arkham Initiative, or Gotham Reconstruction Plan? The Renewal Project. Perfect. Three for three on the multiple choice. Dialed. Locked in. Talk to me! <laughs> 15 points already, but now we're going away from multiple choice. You're just going to have to give the straight up answers, but uh, absolutely dialed right now. Number four. What is the name of the club in Seoul? No, oh, my favorite Pixar movie. <laughs> oh my god! Fake fan. Oh my god! No, dude. Um. Oh my god! No. I don't know the name of the club. Um. Oh my god. I'm cooked. No answer. No answer. It's the half note, the half note jazz club. God. No points there. We'll see if we can bounce back here. Question number five. What is the name of the project Harry finds in his dad's files looking for a cure for the disease in, in the Amazing Spider-Man 2? Oh, my God. No. Um, project. Oh, my God. See, I'm a choke. I'm a choke. I'm a choke. I haven't seen this. I haven't seen it in a while. And I like I I watch this movie all the time. Um, avid Tasm Two defender. I love Tasm Two. Love that film. Would defend it with my life. Um, project, project. Dude, see, this is gonna annoy me because I know it's gonna like. Well, as soon as I see the answer, it's gonna be like, oh yeah, that was it. Of course. Why would I think anything else? <laughs> Uh, oh my god, oh my god, I'm cooked. No answer, no answer. It's Project Rebirth. Project Rebirth is the name of the project that uh he finds in the secret files. Um, all, right, all right, I'm gonna lock in, I'm gonna yeah, lock in, lock in bounce back, lock in, <laughs> stand up now. <laughs> Question number six in Transformers, what is the name of the artifact that both Autobots and Decepticons are searching for on Earth? The All Spark. The All Spark is correct. We're back. We're back. Back I have to stand up. Locked in, dialed. Going on to question seven now. In the Lorax, what does Ted Wiggins seek to find in order to impress Audrey and restore the environment? So, what is he trying to get for her? Truffula trees. Yep, a truffula seed, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you, you, you were down for a minute, but you're back now. Question Underrated soundtrack, by the way. Lorex, for some reason, has one of the best movie soundtracks. Love it. I, I saw you tweeted that like a month ago or something. So I'm like, yeah, you're saying like, why does this Loki have like the greatest soundtrack ever? Um, <laughs> everybody needs a need. Shout out. Banger song. Uh, question number eight. In Star Wars Attack of the Clones, what is the name of the character who offers Obi-Wan Kenobi death sticks? No, dude. Oh... Uh... I'm cooked here, bro. I haven't seen Attack of the Clones in so long. No, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Yeah, the 
The right answer is Elon Sleaze Bagano. It's a yeah. kooky, crazy character. Death sticks. Just a random anti-smoking advertisement that's just in the middle of Attack of the Clones. <laughs> Such a wild movie. Um, but okay, we're at 35 points now. We have two questions left. And this next one's going to be interesting because you are an avid non letterboxed user. But the question nine this season is matching the movie to the letterbox graph. So you don't know what the rating is, but this is the rating distribution. So obviously five stars all the way on the right and then a half stars. Which movie lines up to which? We have Deadpool up and The Dark Knight Rises. So looking at these, what what's your rationale and reasoning based on how many five stars or lower rated or higher rated, what you think each of these movies are? Okay, so I think number two belong or a belongs to number two a belongs to up i think a lot of people have that very high on their pixar you know rankings um and i definitely think it's probably like the highest rated out of deadpool and the dark knight rises i'm for for b i'm gonna do deadpool that was widely loved and c i'm gonna do the dark knight rises because although that was you know, a a generally well-liked film, people were definitely a lot lower on that one than let's say Batman Begins or The Dark Knight. All right. Locking those in? Yes. Perfect. Three out of three. Like, Supes doesn't use Letterboxd. Clutch! Okay, that was so clutch. (laughs) Bro has, like... use Letterboxd like that. You literally have, like, eight films logged, and I think the last time you logged a film was, like, two years ago. And uh, (laughs) famously, Letterboxd was, like, the the only reason, basically, got eliminated last, last season, so... Major redemption here, getting a perfect 15 points on Letterbox graph match. And yeah, for anyone watching, like it, it, you have to grasp how crazy this is. This guy knows. And if you saw him last season, he doesn't know anything about Letterbox, but yet you got a perfect three for three here. So uh, you're at 50 points now. Final question now is a guess of the cast, where one by one I'm reveal cast members of a movie. You get okay. one guess of what movie it is. Get it wrong. We'll just move on to reveal one more cast member until you can end up getting it. First cast wait, wait, member. Wait. Willem Dafoe. So Go ahead. Like I can guess now, and then if I get it wrong, you would reveal another cast member. Correct. So if you guess now and get it right, you get twenty points. If you guess now and get it wrong, then I just move on to the next cast member for fifteen points. Then it'll be ten points and five points. Every cast member that gets revealed subtracts five points. Gotcha. Aquaman. Which Willem Dafoe movie? Aquaman. It is not Aquaman. So we got Willem Dafoe and John Leguizamo. Um. I'm not sure. I'm just, I'm, I'll say uh, I'm cooked here. Um, I'll say Spider Man one. Maybe John Leguizamo was in that at some point. Not Spider Man one. Lawrence Fishburne. Lawrence Fishburne, John Leguizamo, and Willem Dafoe. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. Um, I don't know. Let's go to that final mm-hmm. final cast member. Final one is Keanu Reeves. Matrix? It's not the Matrix. John Wick? John Wick. No shot. Dafoe's in that. In the first one, Defoe's in John Wick. Yeah, minor supporting no role. Shots. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's what? tough because like it's a like, perfect one for someone like you, obviously an avid comic book movie fan. Is once you see that yeah. Defoe face come up first, your brain just gets like locked into yeah, it has to be a comic book movie or something. But Damn, yeah, John I Wick on that dude. I do not remember the full and John the first one. Yeah, I, I I really didn't either until I was prepping this, and then I had to look at I haven't seen it in a while. But yeah, he's in the first one. He's kind of just like an all time just supporting guy in so many movies but yeah, john wick no, sure. no points there <laughs> you end with 50 points on the trivia which for this quadrant puts you above alex puts you below cam so of the three people so far you're sitting right in the middle but the way this works is it's your the sum of your score of this 10 question trivia and what we're going to do on the friday episode which is the, the real reveal game so that addition to those two scores will be where you stack up so right now of the three you're right in the middle smack dab in the middle um, so we'll see how you do on the Friday episode. But how do you feel about your performance today? Uh, honestly, still fairly lackluster. However, you know, looking at the leaderboards, you know, I obviously did did enough to put myself over Coleman. And, uh, you know, now I'm just, you know, today was today I did well, but I'm looking forward to the next episode and continuing to stack on to my points 
and just climb up the leaderboard rankings for this season of Trivia 10 and continue to solidify myself amongst the other players in this uh, in this game and come out on top this year. Love it. Love to hear Love to hear the confidence. We'll see you back on the Friday episode to, to see where you end up stacking up here. But a, a solid roller coaster ride of a trivia up and down. But we'll be back. New episodes every Tuesday and Friday. Hit that subscribe button. See you Friday. Peace.